Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season 6 episode 9 of One Tree Hill. This time the title of the episode is Sympathy for the Devil. And is this about Dan? I'm pretty sure because like we know he's the devil, you know. Or maybe this new guy that we were introduced... What was his name? I don't remember. What was his name? Blake? No. Richard. I don't know. I don't know what his name was. Uh, I will remember during the episode. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to watch a new a new episode of One Tree Hill to continue enjoying season six. So far has been really, really good. And I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. I mean, the ending of the previous episode was like really shocking. And like, I'm really proud of myself for actually being able to not like jump into the next episode uh, because that was crazy. That was crazy. I mean, Peyton and this guy, you know, apparently have history that we did not knew about and it's going to cause drama between Layton. I'm pretty sure. As long as they, you know, leave my, my uh, Naily, you know, away from all this crap, I'm happy. <laughs> uh, they have gone through so much already, so just leave them alone. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Give it a thumbs up. If you love One Tree Hill, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and for every single reaction of One Tree Hill. Probably by the time this is posted on YouTube, I'm ready on like, I don't know, episode nine of season nine or something like that. I don't know, because I am three seasons ahead on, on, on Patreon. So go and check it out. Like I said, the link is in the description down below. I totally didn't mean to be like so far away on YouTube and Patreon. It's just that I haven't had the time to edit, you know, and you know, out of, out of nowhere, I started to react to like a bunch of episodes of Wonder Hill on Patreon. That's the reason why I'm so far ahead. So if you guys want to do like binges and things like that with me, you can do that on Patreon. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with Season 6, Episode 9 of One Tree Hill. Here we go. You've gotten even more beautiful. What are you doing here, Julian? Julian, you Julian. Your book? Like how you are. I call him Richard. What the fuck? Actually, it's already done. Well, I see you two have already met, huh? <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> yes, Feels they like have. I've known for years. Bane, you have to say something. Don't... I really hope she doesn't stay quiet, you know? Another week for letting some skeevy frat vestite ruin Peyton's wedding dress, and we're gonna tack on another week for throwing an underage keg party in your foster parents' upscale boutique. That's it. You are not supposed to be... <laughs> oh, I just thought that thing my friend Eugene did in the bathroom sink was gonna cost me another week. What?! I haven't been in the bathroom yet, have you? <laughs> what? This is not over, young lady! Didn't think it was, old lady. <laughs> Stop it! Don't kill the child. <laughs> yeah, don't kill the child! <laughs> what? And then I plan on bringing her a gift every day until she's ready to reconsider me. Every day. Whether you like it or not. Well, let's see. Bring it on! Gold Godiva Gucci Gerber. Bye now. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad she's making her work for it. Cause she fucking deserves a good man, okay? My child while a child. Time. My children. Go eat your breakfast in front of the TV. Alright, little bear? Okay. Good luck. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Feeling. Have you told you him? One. Has he told? Has she told him? Honey, you need to tell him. I mean, you were not with him. He was in another relationship. What's the big deal? Hey. I said I need a minute. Okay, so you meet this guy right after you break up with Lucas. Rebound. Totally fine. You know, the best thing about a paper jam, what? it forces you to open up the machine, figure out what went wrong in the first place. Okay, that is profound. Thank you. 
Looks like but I'm not sure how I feel about you yet. So. I'm gonna keep an eye on you though. Oh my baby, one more child. He was charismatic. Huh. What you doing? Honestly, just tell him. Honeys, you know what? They were not together. Why make such a big deal about it? Peyton, just stop, please. Well, cinematically, it doesn't get much better than seeing a man kill his brother. Well, that man that was murdered was my uncle. Trust me, I'll put off the studio until tomorrow, okay? You can do this. That's not actually a bad thing to make and him confront that To part. be blunt, then I'll find a writer who can. Okay. Show business, right? They don't give you trophies in slam ball, buddy. Check for you and everything. Sorry. No. What do you want to buy, though, Jamie? Come on, Brooke. What would it be? I love what you to her. Oh, hello. Huh? Look at her looking like a fucking dream Peyton. Don't do this to me, my child. What the hell? She's so gorgeous. Well, both of them are like my other queen, my other child right there. Brooke Davis. Hi, Peyton. I'm getting relationship advice from the girl who waited three weeks to tell her fiance that he's making a movie with her ex-boyfriend. She told him already? Eight and counting. Oh hey, my you god, Pay him yet. Um, no. But anyway, changing the subject. When do I get to see my wedding dress? Honey, why are you you're not about to like I don't think Lucas is gonna call off the wedding. That guy is really thirsty for a wedding, so um I don't think he's gonna do it. Uh but the thing is Baden, you should tell him. Like, there's literally, literally nothing wrong with what happened between you and Julian. The secret is. You may not. How serious were you and Julian? I don't tell me you were engaged. Baden, I will slap you. You. You know, do you know how much I love Baden? Okay, so this is serious. When I'm telling her that I'm about to slap her if she like actually was engaged to him. Cause oh my god, that that is the one thing that that I think Lucas will have a problem with because he was not engaged to him. But you know what? He also got engaged with Lindsay, so fuck off, Lucas. I'm already having a conversation with Lucas that is hasn't happened yet. You know? that never be much more I look at her, she looks so cute. You really want the saddest girl in the world as your date? Oh no, 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 it's not a date. I just want your tears. One look at the crying girl on my arm and nobody's gonna wonder why I'm leaving early. <laughs> That's evil. <laughs> Hold on, what I say? Because if you start smiling like that, we're gonna be stuck at this thing. He's kinda cute. What was your best memory of Dan? I don't know. That he went to prison? No, come on, be real. <laughs> I remember I was so nervous. My knees were about to buckle. Mm. I think Dan could feel that. Cause he put his hand on my shoulder to steady me. And when Jordan finally came by, he just looked at him and said, this is my son, Nathan. He's got a great jump shot. That's so cute. And what happened? I played one-on-one -on -one against the greatest player in history. It was one of the best days of my life. That's so cute. Why? He cannot, it's just the thing is that Lucas cannot phantom any type of goodness from Dan. You know, he thinks everything else is just awful because of what he did. And I don't think he's wrong to have that perception perception out of Dan because honestly, he's not like that good. I mean, in terms of Nathan and Jamie, he might not be that bad. But that's the thing. He's not that bad. You know, he might care about them, but... Lucas is a completely different story, you know? And it's not like he even tries to, like, apologize. Well, it will be harsh. Last time he was, he saw Lucas, Lucas beat that shit out of him. But write the man the way he is. Evil. That's what he deserves. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, but the thing is that... That is a very interesting question, you know? Whether if Dan has a soul. I don't know. Before. Before he. Like put his. Like when he protected Nathan. From like go to jail. 
for killing, you know, the guy that ran over um, um, Haley, Dante, Dante. Um, before that, I could say he doesn't have a soul. But after that, that was a very big change for him. Yet, he was doing it because he felt guilty. But doesn't that mean that he does have a soul? I don't know, it's a very interesting question. Is he completely evil? Hello, what? Hi! <laughs> what the hell are you- Owen! What the hell is he doing? He scared the shit Dude, out of me! Sneaking up on a girl is so not cool! Yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. What's underneath the clothes, right? I'm a girl. It's sexy. Yeah. You are a- it's creepy. You should have thought about this before. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Scott isn't human. He doesn't deserve to be forgiven. And you, frankly, Dan Scott doesn't deserve a spot in Jamie's life. Look, well, it's not up for you to decide, though. I'm sorry, Hales. It's none of my business. No, you're his uncle. My head's just been. It's okay. It's okay. I think it's I fair for go. him to say that. I'm sorry. No, I think it's fair for him to say that. Dan took his dad away from him, you know? But he also has to understand that it's a different, a different, completely different relationship with, uh, with Jamie and with Nathan. And I think neither of them, not even Nathan or Lucas, understand that. You know? I'm not here to sit down and say, oh, yeah, I don't because I don't think that they have, in a way, they maybe have shown, look. Uh, I mean, Dan in a different light, you know. Um, but I think it has been justified the way he's be because also he has not tr turned into like a prude or someone who just cries all the time and asks for forgiveness. He's still very much himself, you know, egocentric crazy person, you know, but that it's trying to not do harm. Right? In a way, although his words, I mean, he doesn't still talk to Deb, like, in the same awful way sometimes, you know. Hey, druggy or something like that, you know, he's a very aggressive. I don't know, it's complicated. I think it's a bad idea that I moved in with you. Hi. She because if I get any nicer, well. my film's not going to get to Sundance. Oh, but you'll get me, and I am way sexier than Sundance. <laughs> yeah, that she is, though. Oh, no. She moved in with him. I love you. Uh-oh. I love you, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I am a little bit shooketh, <laughs> to say the least. Peyton Sawyer? Again. 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 <laughs> Let's try not to, like, I don't want to be judgmental or anything. But if this is so, like, it's the same situation. You know, that Luca was in, he moved on with Lindsay, you know, he moved on. And he was happy, many I love yous as well. But now we take this with Peyton and it feels wrong and it feels like she's cheating on, on, on Lucas when she's not because she was single at that point. But it makes everything she said before kind of sound like a lie, you know? And you know why is that? Because she's keeping it a secret right now. That's why. That's the big difference, you know? And I don't like that. I don't appreciate that. Because I don't appreciate it. Because you're making her... They are making her seem as a liar. 
You know, and I don't like that. Are you curious at all? Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious as to whether there will ever come a day when I'm not sharing you with Lucas Scott. Sadly, there will not be such a day, sweetie. I think you, you know, know what? that. I'm tired of this. Where are you going? Sundance, alone. Oh! What? Holy you shit! Go with the book? I can't do this anymore, Peyton. I don't want to. It's fair, you know. Goodbye. It's fair. I'm glad that he decided not to. You know? How about you just keep whatever gift you were bringing today and we call this homeless even? <laughs> I didn't bring a gift. And I'm done bringing them. But are you I'll letting him on? Are you let? Mm. I'm not really sad that he's leaving though. <laughs> what the hell? Sam, you're turning him into like... What? Sam, stop like messing with this child. Whatever you want. <laughs> Two bucks. Two bucks? That's a total rip! Fine, guess we're gonna have to wait till snack time. I hear we're having raisins. <laughs> he just, I'm so sorry for him. He's filled with so much rage. There's so much can't go back now. I can't believe this says loving husband, brother, and father. Like, fuck you, Dan. That is just so mean out of him. I didn't tell him out of respect for your engagement. In fact, I think yeah. I've handled the whole situation like a professional. Actually, kind of, he kind of did. if you don't mind. Why did you lie to Lucas? Because if it's a part of some grand scheme to get me back. No! <laughs> don't be an ass. I'd be curious. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like you. It's plant. What Aww. is this? A kickback. It's yours to keep if you're in the cahoots. <laughs> I most certainly am not in cahoots. Treating your friends well is more important than extorting them. Extorting. <laughs> I think you've learned enough economics for one day. I just want to buy Daddy Slamball trophy. Oh, sweetheart. Right. You're a sweet kid, even if you are too smart for your own good sometimes. <laughs> so we're in cahoots? No, 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 we're not in cahoots. I'm gonna spank your little cahoot if you don't go out there and do all your friends are <laughs> I love that, I'm gonna spank your little cahoot. I Money love Money back that. right now. <laughs> oh, why are you looking at my boy like that, bitch? I like this. You're gonna be kinda hot. Stop. Ooh. Yes, bitch. <laughs> my boy right there, my son. Keith was holding Jimmy Edwards in the hallway. He turned and I shot him dead before he could say a word. Keith was a hero. He was. You want to write the truth, you write it that way. Yeah. See? Exactly what I told you. Every good story needs a villain, Lucas. I'm sorry, but I'm yours. Holy hell. See, this is, this, he's a steal him, you know? He's a steal him. But I think that, I think he gave him a very dense Scott type of you know, message, I don't know how I would call it, you know. He just flat out told him, don't look to understand me. He's not trying to excuse his behavior. It's just, I am damn, I'm bad. I'm the villain on your story. And that's who I am, you know. And, that, and he knows that that's who he is for him. And that pro probably he's always going to be that, you know. Take a seat. I appreciate you being my guardian angel, but I can take it from here, all right? I got this. Are you sure? Me, you, 15 seconds and one basket, Scott. That sound familiar? Yeah, only one tiny difference. Unlike you, I won't choke. Oh, bitch. 
I mean, have you seen that he's like very big? I mean, I trust my boy. I trust my boy. But like, he, like that guy is extremely tall and I am afraid. I am afraid. <laughs> you bitch! Look at my boy. Being the greatest shit I've ever done. Right there, Nathan scalp for you, bitch. Oh no, be careful! Hey, hey! Oh no, Jamie! What the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? No! No! Oh, look at Jamie! Jamie! Oh, oh. Okay. I'm fine, see? I'm alright. Oh my god, please don't tell me he has a thing in his back again! Where's that bitch? Where's that bitch? I kicked my son! Where's the bitch? Where's the bitch? Because I'm, I'm about to kill someone! Where's the bitch? Oh. It's just that right now I have the opportunity to be a great role model for Sam. But and that I, means I have to put her first. I can respect that. Yeah? What about down the road? Oh, but she's afraid that you're gonna ro run away. I like you. I might just come crawling back. Aww. But... I'll see ya. But, what is the big... I mean, it's not like... You weren't giving her, you weren't gonna give her a bad example if you start dating. I, I don't think so. I'm right about this, Luke. You gotta trust me. Hey, come in, come in. I gotta take this. Oh, Bye. he's gonna. Yeah, yeah. He's the script is see. on its way, and you are going to love it. Oh no, he's gonna see the picture, yeah, isn't he? <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I told you? Didn't I told you? Didn't I told you? Didn't I told you? Pain is so stupid. Mm, had beer. Yeah, it sounds like fun, but I should get home. Yeah, to your girlfriend. Don't. Stop it. Gigi, if I have you... a girlfriend. Yeah. Um, she doesn't have to know. Stop it, stop it. Honestly, you should fire her. I'm not trying to. What is your grand plan? <laughs> Let's jump. Ah. You can't do that. That's stealing. There is a security camera in here. It's broken. <laughs> How do you know? Because I broke it. Sam. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> I love Brooke so freaking much. Like, she was like, there's a camera here, what the hell are you doing? I cannot be seen doing this. <laughs> Never gonna be like that again, okay? No, you can't promise None of this that. is worth losing my ability to hold my son when he's afraid. Yeah. It's my life, she needs me. That's true. It's okay, I'm done with Slambo. But the championship. I don't care about the championship. If these are the last two trophies I ever get, I will consider myself a lucky man. Oh my yeah, God. Because I gave all my prom decks. <laughs> what? Your son started a business today. <laughs> oh, yeah? How'd it go? Oh, you're gonna have a serious conversation tonight. Woo. Well, he's all broody right now. Look, it's great. Jillian was yeah. really needed that. Great, greatest you and this guy. Show him, show her the fish. I'm really upset with my with my child right there. You know. I love her. That doesn't mean I don't love her. Like, man. Dang. I kind of know. Does it involve this? Yes. Why keep it a secret? That is a problem. We were in love. You were in love with Lindsay. Just stop it, Lucas. I get the lie, but like, stop it. I understand the lie. Like, I, you guys know how much I love Peyton. Okay, but I cannot be biased right now. Just a tiny bit, okay? 
forgive me. But like, I do not support the lying. She should have told him right away, you know what? This bitch might be like trying to trick you or something because I actually dated him. He dumped me. That was right after we broke up. No big deal. Because no big deal. Also, Lucas, you were with someone else trying to move on with your life. So, ha 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 ha. Don't get to tell me that, oh, you're upset about that. You cannot be upset about that. You can be upset about the lying. Because the lying could imply something else and blah, blah, blah. And like, I could, I could understand that, you know? And if, if it's that, I will support you, Lucas Scott. But don't you even try to like go back, oh, you were in love, how dare you? Or like, granted, like I said, he might say, why did you hit it from me if it didn't mean anything right now? If it doesn't mean anything right now, why did you hide it from me? Does it mean something else right now? You know, I will be conflicted as well, but not technically for the best. But anyway, I, like I said, I like the drama though, you know, and I like seeing, I like seeing the flashbacks with Julian, who I, for some reason, call Blake and Richard, and neither of those were his names. I am a very forgettable person, you know, I forget names. Uh, anyways, so... He, uh, we saw flashbacks, and it, I think it was perfect that it tied up with that moment where we have seen Peyton walking, you know, uh, down the hallway when she was, like, sad that she broke up with, with, uh, what's his face? Lucas, and the moment where he sees Lucas moving on with Lindsay, probably, and we see those two moments directly, uh, coinciding is that how you pronounce it? With uh, Julian and, and, and Peyton. So, I am okay with, uh, like, I, 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 I like that it connects there, you know? So we see that it was very much, even though she did say that they were in love, I do feel like, you know, it was more of a rebound thing, you know, because she was never able, just as Lucas never was, able to separate those things, you know, to separate her feelings for, from, for Lucas. She always had them. She tried to bury, bury them, but it was never like that, you know, uh, she could not do it. But the thing is that, um, Lucas also had a relationship, also was very much in love, also moved in, also got engaged, almost got married. He moved on with his life with Lindsay, you know, as well. Whether if they were, both of them were trying to just lie to themselves, they were both doing that. But granted, he did not tell, he didn't lie. You know, there was Lindsay and there was always Lindsay, you know, there. Peyton knew about it. Uh, and with Peyton, it's completely different. You know, she never told him. You know, she flat out just omit that. And I just can't believe she did that. And that for that, I could be upset. Then you have Nathan. Nathan is like, if you don't get yourself a Nathan to share your life with, is it even worth it, to be honest? Because Nathan is just, you know, he has learned his lesson from like the past and he knows his biggest accomplishment. Yeah, is that how you say it? Yes, are his son and his wife, you know, and if they are not okay with him and like, it's just too much, you know, they cannot handle it emotionally to put him in that position where he could get hurt again, then of course, Nathan is not going to put them through that. There's no championship that works uh, or anything that it, it it's better for him or it's uh, more valuable to him than his family, you know, and for that, I'm really, um, proud of him, you know, uh, Jamie being like the insanely cute kid and like so smart, but at the same time being innocent because he's still five or six, you know, so it's just so beautiful, you know, and I love seeing his relationship and friendship with Sam is so adorable, you know? But Sam does really need to cut a little bit back with the, you know, being a bad influence to Jamie because, 
you know, it's so much that uh, that Haley can take, you know. Uh, love Brooke as a mom as well. And while I under I don't necessarily understand why is it that Brooke is saying no to Owen right now, you know, because Owen seems to get his shit together. I think it has a lot more to do with the fact that he ran away and that she really just, that trust is not longer there. Uh, she should not have played with him. I agree. Um, but I'm glad that she told him that it's not what she wants right now, you know? And with Brooke, it's such a different character because with Lucas and and Lucas and Peyton and with Haley and Nathan, you sometimes explore the char characters through their relationships, you know? But with her, it's different because... They are exploring Brooke, just Brooke, through everything, but it's Brooke, you know what I mean? Uh, and I like that. I like that different, different dynamic we have, with, we have with Brooke. I think it's important to have. I think it's wonderful that we have it. And, like, Sophia does such a wonderful job because, you know, I am there always, like, so mesmerized by her performance every single time, you know? So... Yeah, I love her so much. Um, then we have the whole situation with Lucas and Dan. And like I have said before, I like the fact, you know, this is something very tricky that they're doing right now. Because Dan, as much as we hate him, as much as we, you know, could say, oh, yeah, they're giving him this arc for, to trying to, for us to forgive him or whatnot... But truly, he is, at the end of the day, a character. But on the show, he is not just a character. He is the person who killed his brother, you know? And through that, we are allowed to just not think about him as just a character, but rather to see the ramifications of someone like him in like this world's, uh, in this world's perception of him and the people around him, you know, dance like the people around Dan and how his action truly affected these people. And you and I think it's such a beautiful way to humanize the character and also humanize. Yeah, what I mean is like making more human uh the character and also every single other character that interacts with him, you know? Because we see in the tombstone uh loving husband, brother and father, you know? And to us, it could be just words on that tombstone. But for everyone else, that is who he is on, on paper. Because everyone has a different relationship with him, you know? And I am glad that the, produ the, the, the writers don't seem to want him to just completely change. For him to not be the villain that we have known for the past seasons, you know, five seasons. They don't want that. You know, they don't want that and they are not doing that. I love, you know, not really because... I, I could say I love because it is still within a, a, a TV show. It's not real. But I love the fact that he is unapologetically himself. You know, he is just as terrible as it could be. He is that. And he accepts that. You know, especially with Lucas. I like the fact that with Lucas... You know, he is clean cut as it is, not making excuses. He didn't say, well, I thought he tried to kill me. He didn't nap. He accepts, he owns what he did. And he is like, yeah, I did that. There is no answer. He was the hero. I killed him. Because in your story, I am the villain. You know, and that's it. Plain and simple as that. Awful, heartbreaking, and just terrible as that is. That is who I am for you, you know? And it made me feel like I understood why there are not that many scenes between Lucas and Dan. It's just that whatever bond or whatever tie they had, it's just simply gone. There is no way they can get back into being anything because he's just like done with him. Or, you know, it could be a 
clean slate. It could be him not accepting and understanding him, but moving past his anger, moving past his pain, healing, which it doesn't feel like he has done that enough. And it's understandable, you know? Would you ever be over your parents' death? I don't think so, you know? And that is what Kid represented to him. He was his dad. Whether if he called him dad, like, throughout the entire show or just in the last scene that they were together. It doesn't matter. That's who Keith was for him. So I completely understand that, you know? And I think it's so beautiful. That scene was beautiful. And the actor who plays Zan, oh my god. He carries himself with such a... It's so powerful the way he does things, you know? Because he has been a villain. And he has never apologized for being the bi villain, you know? But at the same time, you see the remorse, you see the conflict, you see all of that. And it's just played so wonderfully, you know? And I love that. You know, I love that. This show, honestly, it needed a villain. That's who Dan is, you know? Whether if he continues to be the villain or not, becomes a hero or not is yet to be seen, you know? But I don't think they will ever just make an apology and just say, oh, yeah, he had his reasons. It just get over it. He killed him, but now he's a different person. They're not trying to get over that. That is a weight he will carry for the rest of his life. You know, even if he was sentenced to a year in prison or a hundred years in prison, he will always carry that. And we see that, always, you know? And that is something that I like about the way they are writing Dan, you know? And I think I think that scene was just beautiful. More so for the actor who plays Dan. It's just impeccable. His performance was impeccable. I mean, Chad, I think is his name. It was good too, but he tends to have the many facial expressions. It's always like the booty. Oh, he's upset, you know? It's always much like that. And in this moment, he was... You know what I mean? He should play Batman. Um, well, he gets his hair like black and all that. It doesn't matter because he's always like, you know? <laughs> but this scene was entirely stole by Dan, by Dan, in my opinion. Don't don't hate me, but like, it's just my opinion. Um, great episode. Love Dead, beginning, middle, to end. It was a great episode. Uh, Julian, I don't know how to feel about Julian yet. He was really cute on those flashbacks. And I think he still has feelings for Peyton. And I love the drama. He's kind of cute. And he hasn't done anything too bad. You know, he's, he, he hasn't done anything bad yet, you know. Peyton's the one who lied to Lucas. So, yeah. But I don't know yet how to feel about him. He's kind of cute. But I, I mean, I don't have anything against him. But it's not like I'm like, oh my god, I love Julian. No. Owen is the other the other person who I am like... I'm happy that he's there because he's so hot. Uh, but I'm also not... Be like, oh my god, I don't want him to go. You know, I will be like, okay. You know? You know what I mean? It's not like... I'm passionate about either of those characters at the moment. But, you know, I will love to see more of them especially Julian because I feel like Owen is kind of like going away right we're not gonna have Slamble or what's the that thing or Brooke and and him together so it looks like that but maybe we, we will who knows um anyways that's it I hope you guys enjoy my reaction I hope you guys continue to burn for more give it a thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill subscribe comment hit the notification bell and you can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. And if you're on Patreon, give it a heart. Continue supporting for more. And yeah, thank you for all your support. You guys are amazing as always. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.